Annabella, how do you feel about this morning? Former Soprano star Annabella Sciorra, first woman to take the witness stand. At times fighting back tears, she testified that after a dinner in late 1993 or early 94, Harvey Weinstein dropped her off at her New York City apartment. After she got ready for bed, she said the Hollywood producer knocked at the front door. Shiora accused him of pushing his way in, telling the jury in part, he shoved me on the bed. I was punching him. I was kicking him. Then she says Weinstein raped her. It was just so disgusting that my body started to shake in a way that was very unusual. She didn't think of it as rape at that time because she just didn't identify it that way, but she certainly didn't consent to it. According to the actress, she confronted Weinstein about the alleged assault just weeks later, and he said, this remains between you and I. Shiora testifying, I thought he was going to hit me right there. A few years later, while promoting a film produced by Weinstein's studio, Shiora says her hotel room was right next to his. When she opened her door at 5 a.m. one morning, she says Weinstein was standing there in his underwear. Shiora telling the court she threatened to call room service to get him to leave. Weinstein has repeatedly denied all accusations of non-consensual sex. During the cross-examination, defense attorney Donna Rotuno questioned the actress's memory. Shiora couldn't remember who was at dinner the night she was allegedly raped or how long the assault lasted. Rotuno asking her, when you woke up, did you go to the doctor? Shiora answered, no. When you woke up, did you go to the hospital? No. Shiora admits she did not immediately tell anybody what happened and did not go to the police until decades later. Shiora shared her story publicly for the first time in 2017. This year, many spoke their truth and the journey ahead is long, but slowly a new path has emerged. That path leading straight to a New York City courthouse.